This is a quick overview of how to use EasyEdit. We're going to create a new book using the tutorial material provided in your installation of EasyEdit. On the main menu bar, select New Book, then enter a title for your book. After entering the title, you see three tabs. We'll use the first tab to select a cover for the book. Here we're navigating to the folder that contains our images for the book. We select the cover image, insert it into the book, and then move to the metadata tab. The metadata for the book includes the author or authors, contributors, publisher, and a description of your book. We'll skip through this quickly and go to the right tab. The right tab is where you'll do most of your work, but let's go back and review the three tabs. The cover tab, the metadata tab, and the right tab where you work on your content. In this pane of the right tab, you see the structure of your book, the front matter, the back matter, and the main sections of your book. The front matter consists of a title page, a copyright page, and a dedication page. Let's leave EasyEdit for a moment to look at the tutorial material. It's found in My Documents, EasyEdit, Tutorial. There you'll find folders with images and raw text for the book. Each chapter is in a separate file of plain, unformatted text. All of these chapter files can be easily imported into the main section of the book. Right-click on Sections and select Batch Import of Text Files, and then navigate to the tutorial material and find the folder that contains the chapter files. After you select the folder, you'll be shown a count of how many files you're about to import. After the files have imported, you can step through them using the arrow keys. You can reorder them and rename them as will be shown later. Now let's customize and format some pages. For the title page, we'll simply type in the title and author's name. But for the copyright page and the dedication page, we'll insert text from another file. We'll start by deleting the standard content on the copyright page and instead we'll go to insert, insert from file and then we'll navigate to the raw text for the copyright page and insert it. We'll do a little formatting next. We'll center a block of text. And then we'll move on to the dedication page and follow the same procedure. Now let's move on to formatting the main sections of the book. You may want to take the titles of each chapter or section and make it a, a heading. Heading levels are from 1 to 6. For some chapters you may want to insert artwork at the beginning of each chapter. And that's done by simply doing insert, picture, and then navigating to the artwork file that you want to insert. Next we'll see that when you right click on a section title you can rename a section, you can delete it, or you can reorder it, move it up or down. The tutorial files were named in alphabetical order so they would import nicely when we did our batch import. But I'd like to rename the chapters to the names that I want to show up in the table of contents for the book. There are actually two tables of contents in a Kindle book. One is on a page in your book, and the other is in a Kindle menu. Both tables of contents are automatically generated for you by EasyEdit from what you see in the left pane of the right tab. We'll skip ahead through the renaming of all the chapters, and we'll move on to the back matter of the book. There, we'll add a couple of sections, rename them, and reorder them. You can use the back matter sections of the book to share a little information about yourself, to promote other work that you've done, to provide teasers of future work that you're going to do. You can add pictures and even hyperlinks to a website. You'll note that when you right click on a section title, you can choose to move a section up or down, and that also you can use keystrokes to do the same thing. 
Now let's take a look at our book in the Kindle Previewer. We can check to see what our book looks like in the Kindle devices, the Kindle Fire devices, and the Apple, iPad, and iPhone. If we like what we see here, then we can use another feature to sideload our Kindle book into an actual Kindle or Kindle Fire and see how it looks and functions there. This is what our book looks like in a Kindle e-ink device. The cover art, the pages, and the table of contents. We can turn through the pages, skip through the sections, make sure everything looks alright, click on links to make sure the book navigates correctly. Now let's see what our book looks like in color on the Kindle Fire and the Apple iPad. In this video you've seen that you can go from a plain text book to a Kindle book in a matter of minutes.